Champion Speedball Mike Bailey trying to set the tone here early with Vidal, who's not going to play these games. Oh! Speedball, as we know, has a way of bringing things out of people. I, I was hoping he was going to bring out a different fighting side of Jay, but I think he just kicked the ever living crap out of him. That's exactly what happened. And he's going right back to work on that subject. Oh, and a kick to the head there of Vidal. Vidal outside the ring. Speedball's got Jay Vidal down. Uh-oh. Oh! It's like a baseball bat across the chest. And Vidal inside the ring. That reset the 10 count there. Referee was at a count of seven. Bailey checking to confirm. Count has been reset. Oh, Bailey! Vidal able to slide around there and took advantage against Bailey, sent him into the steel steps. Oh, and now, I, now I'm worried about the state that Mike Bailey's going to be in for no surrender. Vidal and Bailey continues here on Explosion. Oh, and we are back here on TNA Explosion. 
explosion on the day of no surrender. Right, and I was just I talking about it before the break. I'm worried about the state that Mike Bailey's going to uh -oh. be in oh. for the countdown to no surrender. I mean, he just took his entire body weight into those steel steps, and now Jay's just giving it to him. The tag team known as Speedball Mountain, Mike Bailey and Trent Seven will face the Rascals today on Countdown to No Surrender. There's a cover, hook to the leg, and a kick out. The Countdown to No Surrender will be live on TNA Plus, TNA's YouTube channel, and Triller TV. And don't forget at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, it'll be No Surrender live on TNA Plus, Triller TV, and YouTube for our Ultimate Insiders. And don't forget this Saturday, February 24th, it's by you last. All these events in New Orleans this weekend. Tickets are on sale via TNAWrestling.com. Including Mardi Gras. We're going to Bourbon Street tonight, Tom. We can, well, we're in Orlando right now, so we're going to hop a flight so we can make the show in time. Oh. Yes, we can do that this weekend. Settle your cat. Oh! Check out with the shoulder blades and a kick right to the chest. One of the best strikers in pro wrestling. Now the running shooting star and a kick out there by Vidal. Also, got to speak to uh, Speedball Mike Bailey on Around the Ring. He's also an incredible cook. Which, I what mean, are his specialties? Yeah, you, you would have to be. Like, trying to keep this machine in tip top condition, it's got to have good fuel. Now, Bailey. Now it's Dahl ducking Bailey. Oh! And Bailey gets the better of the Dahl. Oh, look out. Go for the tornado kick there in the corner. Jay Vidal able to escape for just a moment. Out to the apron. Oh, for our blast there by Bailey. Oh, and he's taken off his feet by Vidal. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Back inside the train. Uh, look at the way that Bailey is hung up here. And the dolls go to the top oh, row. And, and stepping on oh. his hands. And stepping on the left hand of Speedball Mike Bailey. Oh, and the double stop. Oh, my word. That will knock the breath out of anybody. Oh, look out. He's measuring Bailey. We've seen this recently on Explosion. The Slaymore kick. Cover. Shoulders down and a kick out there by Bailey. You love that move. I do, it is so slay. <laughs> Bailey somehow able to kick out, however, and the match continues. My Bailey. Certainly absorbed some damage there with that Slaymore kick, but he's still in the fight. Oh! He slaps Vidal is going for as the match began. Now he's taking advantage, of course. Oh. oh, and Bailey, just like the beginning of the matchup. Oh, look for Dahl to bring it. And Speedball retaliates. Big kick by Bailey. Insecurity by Vidal. Oh, my word. Get up. Get up. Vidal go for another one, maybe? Oh, no, miss there in the corner. Look out. Tornado kick to the back of the neck. Vidal got caught up in the ropes in the corner. Look out. Ultima Weapon! Cover! Bailey beats Fatal! Here is your winner, Speedball Fight Bailey! Impressive victory ahead of no surrender for Mike Bailey. He's got momentum on his side. Don't miss the countdown to no surrender. Speedball Mountain against the Rascals. Right now here on TNA Explosion, it's time for the Don West. You've got to be kidding me. Top five trending topics of the week in honor of the late great TNA Hall of Famer, Don West. 
at number five, Chris Saban recently attained his longest X Division title reign of all time amongst his 10 X Division title reigns. As of no surrender, he'll have been X Division champion for 162 consecutive days. His previous best was set back in 2007 for 154 days. Saban continues to improve with time, but will it be enough for him to successfully defend his X Division championship against Mustafa Ali at no surrender. At number four, the ABC and the GYV are headed to match number three in the best of three series for the TNA World Tag Team titles. Match one went to the Grizzled Young Vets. Match two went to the reigning champions, the ABC. And at no surrender, Ace and Bay meet Drake and Gibson to finally decide the TNA World Tag Team Championship. At number three, tickets are on sale now for Rebellion. TNA Wrestling is returning to the Palms in Las Vegas for our sixth annual spring pay-per-view extravaganza. Rebellion will be live on TNA Plus, Triller TV, YouTube, and internationally on DAZN on Saturday, April 20th, and on Sunday, April 21st, TNA Wrestling presents Impact. Tickets are on sale now via TNAWrestling.com and Ticketmaster. At number two, come no surrender in New Orleans, Josh Alexander will go one-on-one -on -one with Simon Gotch. Gotch has returned from Josh Alexander's past five years ago. Gotch felt he was wronged ultimately by Josh Alexander when the walking weapon was able to sign his first ever TNA contract. Where Alexander had opportunity and success, Simon Gotch thought he was slighted. Up until no surrender, they've had a no contact clause, but it goes down in New Orleans live on TNA Plus, Triller TV, and YouTube for our ultimate insiders. And at number one, this is a personal favorite of mine, Joe Hendry has a brand new song for AJ Francis. You traveled the ocean so you could be free, but you paid a bunch of models to get on your boat. But they all laugh when you hit the top rope. There's only two things that you need at sea, Three hot women and your best friend, Steve. You are, you are, banned from diving. You are, you are, banned from diving. You are, you Still to come, it's Dirty are, Dango taking on Laredo Kid in our explosion are, main event. But up next, it's Around the Ring with Gia Miller. Diving. DNA Explosion, and now it's time for Around the Ring with me, Gia Miller. What's up, everybody? This is Around the Ring. I'm Gia Miller, and this is Speedball Mike Bailey. Speedball, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to talk to you because I like to talk to interesting characters, and, and in case you weren't aware of the premise of this show, this is not about wrestling. We no. all know that you're an incredible wrestler and like you're one of the best in the world, yada, yada, yada. We know all that. We wanna, I, I, wanna, I wanna get to the nitty gritty. I wanna get to the, to the you that we don't see, the around the ring you. Yes. The important part is that even outside of professional wrestling, I'm a weirdo. I, and that is why we get along because I love weirdos, I'm a weirdo, and we have something in common. And that's that- We have another thing in common. Oh, what's you that? love food. I do love food. I love food as well. I hear you love cooking. I, I do indeed love cooking. Right? Uh-huh. Do, do you love cooking as well? I love cooking. I, there is a part of me that thinks that if I wasn't a professional wrestler, I would be a professional cook mm. one way or another. Uh, before making the full jump into professional wrestling, I went to a cooking school. Really? For one year to train to be a chef. Wow. Which, and then I only worked in a kitchen for like less than six months because the pay is terrible and most cooking jobs you have to do on weekend and on the weekends, mm. I was busy professional wrestling. Sure, lots of conflict there. I've, I've worked in restaurants, never as a, as a chef, uh, but I do indeed love food. I, I do a lot of anabolic cooking at home. Yes. Uh, so that's leading into my next question. Are you like, are you a baker? Are you, are you a cook? Do you like to just throw things together? Do, are you very precise? Like, talk, walk, talk me through this. So I am not a baker, specifically because it requires so much precision. It's, it's chemistry. Right? Yeah. And also, like the anabolic thing that you mentioned, I think is a lot of like the 
practical application of cooking and the best use I can say that I made out of going to cooking school is learning to make food that is delicious but still kind of helps me fit the nutritious the nutritious profile that I want for food right yeah. I, I work with my shirt off sure. on television yeah so I can't eat whatever I want anytime I want but there's always a fair compromise to sure. be made. Sure. Yeah, I, it, everything in moderation, I feel like. You know, a, a little sugar's okay as long as you're not doing it all the time. We can cut things back. Just uh, taking out the excess. Right? It doesn't have to be an extreme like most people take it with a, the classic pro wrestler diet of oh, yeah. chicken, broccoli and rice yes. three times a day, which is just bad. Mm -mm. Just don't do it. Mm -mm. I mean, unless you like that food. The, the idea is to find things that you like. If you do like that food, please seek psychiatric help. <laughs> uh, because oh. I like flavor. Do you know people that don't like, don't like seasoning, don't like sauce? Yes. Don't like? I, I can't. It's a struggle to be friends with those people. Uh, I'm sorry if you're watching this and you like don't like sauce at all. I'm, I'm all about the sauce. I love sauce. I'm, I'm the sauce boss, actually. I think uh, that's what this blazer's for. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's it, cooking can get difficult, especially like when you're trying new things. And and cooking is a lot of experimentation. Yes. Has there ever been anything that you made that you were like, man, I knocked it out of the park, and then tried to recreate it, and you were like, I can't, I can't do it again. Yes, specifically. Okay, so this is it's sort of many recipes tied together, mm -hmm. but it's when I was. I, I, like a few months stretch where I had a slow cooker and was obsessed with it. And I ended up with a pulled pork brie grilled cheese. Okay. That was maybe the most delicious thing I ever made in yeah. my life. And for some reason, like that pulled pork was just excellent and I was never able to recreate it the mm, same way. Mm, mm. It's like a lightning in a bottle sort of thing. That, so it's terrible when that happens. It's delicious. I want it. I crave it. I can't recreate it, but also it's many hours of work. Sure, yeah, absolutely. There's so much that goes into, especially when it comes to like meat and and when it's pulled, it has to be perfectly tender and not too chewy. Like there's so many things that go into it. Uh, what has been like, what's your go-to? Like if you're like, uh, I need dinner, but I still want to really enjoy myself. What are you, what are you making? Okay, so part of my like dieting style, right? Which is something that I, I invented that I call the salad, salad system. Okay. Patent pending. Okay. So basically, I make a, a, a whole load of like nutritious, healthy salads, right? Okay. And then these salads kind of end up being the, the building blocks flavor wise to all kinds of meals. So, for example, if I want my, like, let's say the protein I want to have is chicken, mm -hmm. right? Then I'll just make myself a sandwich out of it and I'll have like a coleslaw a parsley salad, a dill and cucumber salad, uh, roasted onions and peppers that still figure into the salad system, but a bunch of different salads that I'll get to mix and match I like into that. whatever meal I want. Variety. And There's... that just makes everything delicious and everything like then fills you up, right? Because it's not like this small plate that contains a few boring but healthy ingredients. Yes. You end up with this big colorful plates because it's a mix of high, everything you want. High volume, low calorie. High volume, low calorie always delicious food. The, the, the delicious is the most important part. Absolutely. But it's Speedball, we are going to have to work together on a cookbook, I Let's think. Let's go. Let's do it. I, I, I think we could really make some magic in the kitchen together. Deal? Yeah. Cookbook? Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, we've gotten to see a whole new side of Speedball Mike Bailey. Up next, we go back in time. It's From the Vault, presented by TNA Plus. Welcome back to DNA Explosion, and now it's time for From the Vault, presented by TNA Plus. I've had my shoulder injuries, and they you can't explain the pain that shoots throughout the whole side of your body, not just your arm, the whole side of your body. It's bad stuff. You, you sense that, as you said, with the, the, the attempt at the kick, as if he felt that that pain through, shooting through throughout his arm and his body, and. And Squeeze little just grabbing his arm, not nothing fancy. I mean, I, look, it's tough enough to beat a bull yeah. ray with two arms when you're healthy. And, and, and this, you have to have so much respect, and you have to give Jeff Hardy so much credit for coming out here and competing under these circumstances. But I mean, this is this is one uphill battle and one uphill struggle that nobody wishes to be in, especially due to the importance of this match. And, 
Hardy unleashes a, a punch with the right and still felt the pain. Oh, oh man. God. Nasty there. This is, oh, this, is, this is where God. it can get just bad. Just imagine how that feels. Just imagine that. And you can just sense that the crowd here tonight at No Surrender, oh oh, they're feeling it as well. Coach is a target. You can't, you can't. It's like a neon sign. I mean, it's just, I just, just yeah, flashing and. I don't blame Bully Ray. This is just. You can't. This is, this is. It's business. This is business. It's all business. You said it best. It's about opportunities and it's about money. Let's be honest here. When you're the world champion, yeah. you make a lot of money. You get an opportunity here to go on to face the world champion if you win this match. At Bound for Glory, the, the, our biggest pay-per-view event of the year. Oh, man, oh. that was just nasty. Oh, oh shit. Break the Look. God, with every blow, it gets tougher to watch. Jeff Hardy might have to just quit here. Earl Hebner, you might have to make a judgment call. I, you don't want it to go down like that. It's something, it's a match so important here. This, this, this BFG series has been amazing. All these months, it's been amazing, Mike. It has been over 100 matches in the Bound for Glory series, the three months that led up to this match. And then to have yeah, just such an important match for the future of this company, this organization, to have the, this this type of a match come down to, to Jeff Hardy's condition be, being tough, this way yeah. because of aces and eights of all things. Well, that's exactly, that's exactly who it's because of. Oh, Jeff, to his credit, oh. just, just trying his best to just get one offensive move in, and he can't. He's just defenseless. That's it. Count That's two. It. Just... Hardy's oh still kicking God. out. Two again and got. Look how gutsy he is. <laughs> oh my God. Straight down another, a third pin attempt. And a third time Hardy escapes. I, I cannot fathom the pain that this guy's got to be in. The pain. He's going to put an arm bar. You can see the way he's setting him up here. That in itself. Look at this. Oh. And he's keyed it. He's got the key lock applied, reaching yeah. through. Yeah, he's just, that, that, and, and the, the pressure is right on the AC joint, which is the joint right in the middle of your shoulder, which connects your bicep to the muscles in your shoulder. And that, that's how you get a rotator cuff tear and whatnot. All that's in that, what, I, that's that's what that. I'm talking about. It's got, you got to think long term here. Right. Well, yeah. And listen, there's been many great athletes put down because of rotator cuff issues. You know, and uh, it's not just about throwing a baseball or football. I mean, many great athletes, you know, it's a very, very serious injury. I'm not saying I don't know what's, what, what's going on in the shoulder of Jeff. We haven't been told. But that's the most important, you know, that joint, that AC joint in your shoulder. I'm just telling you from experience, that, that lingers well, for a long time. The pain etched in the face of Hardy as he just tried to get back up to his feet and tries, tries for for dear life just to fight his way out of the corner, but can't do it. Just beating him you down. just can't do it. The whole focus of Bully Ray has been all over that shoulder. Now that, that heavy tape that's on. Oh, my God. Think of the further damage just that, that, he's, that he's causing. Bully Ray right now, you know, you can just sense it's all business to him. You know, it's almost as if he didn't want to do this when he saw the condition of Jeff. Oh. But you know what? Oh, elbow drop counts. Bully knows this, and Jeff Hardy knows this. Maybe not at this very moment, but he knows. When you step between the ropes, it, 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 it's live, man. It's go time. Especially a match to this level of, so, of, of importance. So you cannot blame Bully for doing what he's doing here. Oh. It's just tough to watch. I mean, you know what, but, but the thing I got to say here now, just as I'm watching this, I'm looking at Bully's face, and and I'm watching this beatdown just just get bigger and bigger and bigger. You know what, Bully? Put him out of his misery. Beat the guy already. Go to but, Arizona. Go to Battle Glory and face Austin Aries now for the world title. Just do it already. And a second that. Just do it. 
Well, nobody home there. I mean, that's the first, I think, I think that's the first offensive move, more or less, was him moving out of the yeah, way of a splash. momentary escape. Look at Jeff now. Connecting a few punches in a row here. Wow. Hardy. Ooh, oh, free leg, able to kick off. No way. No! Oh, wow. My God! A twist of... A twist of, twist of fate there. out of absolutely nowhere. It shocked, it surprised Bully Ray. No. Hardy gonna Jeff, try to fight crazy? through the pain and, and go all the way to the top. What is he thinking no here? No way, no way. Oh, God! The swan tired it all out. Top rope swan tie. No. Cover pin. No two. way. No. I was gonna say, I, I, I mean, that swan tie was, was awesome, but there's no way he could have enough in the cover, the pinfall, everything. It's, it's just, it had, I don't know if Bully Ray was worn down sufficiently, but at the same time, goes for the twist again. Oh, oh shoulder God. again. Oh, bubble bomb. Oh, my God. Stop. You're right. That's pin him, it. Pin him and get it That's over, it. too. Still fighting. Hardy still fighting. Wow. Just no give up in this guy, but uh, I, I think that little bit of offense we saw, which was damn impressive by Hardy, I, I think that's that's the end of that. I mean, really. Flurry. Hardy able to get the boots up in the corner. Whoa! Oh! Whisper in the wind! Out of nowhere! Another pin attempt! Here's two! No. Wow, I think Bully now seems to be like he's <laughs> in a little bit of a fight here. And it's a fight that I don't think any of us expected. But no! Oh, God, God, did you see that way he landed? That might have been the killing blow. I think Hardy just shot himself. Oh, gonna go above a cutter. Straight down. Here's one. Here's two. Double leg stack. Oh! No! What the hell? How do, you, how do you dig down that deep? and fight through the pain to come up with, with an amazing kick out. I, I, I don't know but where's your offense? He's I, all, he's, this is no quitting the guy. That, that, that's that resiliency that we talked about. But he fights back. Another one. Turn, turn. Twist of faith. Bully down. Well, he already hit one swan time earlier. I, 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 I can't I believe he's, he's probably thinking another. Again, the importance of the Bound for Glory series shows her at the top. And the Swanton fails. Bully can do anything he wants right now. Anything he wants, and he's gonna. Another with him. Look at that. Another one. The Bubba Cutter leads to another pin attempt, and the, oh! and the pain. You can hear Hardy scream out in pain as he moved the shoulder up into the air to avoid the three count. Bully looking up in the air like, like, like what, what else do I have to do here? What do I have to do? Back to back right hands, just Continues to toy with Hardy. Just, just imagine if you're sitting in our live audience here, Mike. You know, just everything that's gone on here tonight. Just, just uh, they, they got to be <laughs> exhausted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. From, wait a minute. There wait it a minute. is again. Another twist of fate. Boot to the midsection. No, 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 no. And he hits it again. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff probably should have tried to get a cover there, but oh my God, no, not again. Maybe Hardy figures that he's hit him with the twist of fate several times and hasn't been able to get three. But again, Jeff, so much at stake as he goes to the top. This is so much pain. It takes him so long to climb. And once he does, I mean... Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, Bully's able, able to get out of the way. You have to just give Hardy so much credit just to even come out here for this match. And the fact that he that he was willing to go with the high-risk move. But you're right, it took him so long to climb to the top. 
Look at this punch. Look at this. Look at this. God, he's fighting back. He look sure at him is. fight. Oh my look God. at Hardy fight back. Uh-oh. Wait, look at, look at Hardy, Mike. Look at Hardy, Mike. Here we go. Look at him. Hardy flies. Top rope to our top. Cover one. Cover two. He did it. He did it. He did it. He did it. It's Dirty Dango going one-on-one -on -one with Laredo Kid in your explosion main event. Thank you for tuning in on TNA Plus and TNA Social and Digital Platforms. Right now, it's time for our main event. We are set for more action on this No Surrender Day. This is TNA Explosion. Is set for one ball. Introducing first from Nuevo Laredo, Mexico, Laredo Kid. Laredo Kid can certainly line up the impact zone any time he pleases. A reminder that TNA Plus World Championship Two subscribers will have the opportunity to see every TNA Plus Live Special and all four temple TNA pay-per-view events on TNA Plus. The membership tiers begin at just $9.99 a month, so head to TNAWrestling.com and subscribe now. You have We've got here tonight. Looking forward to it. This is, of course, No Surrender Day, which will be live starting at 8 p.m. Eastern on TNA+. His opponent being accompanied by Ole Prudia Zen Alpha Bravo, Dirty Dango. Dirty Dango with plenty of accompaniment. Alpha Bravo and all like Prudius. Prudius, who basically wrestles matches for Dirty Dango. However, I have been told this is just a singles match, so Dirty Dango has to face Laredo Kid. I don't really have much to say about this, uh, this gentleman here. Can you remind the fans why? Um, because he had the audacity to imply that I was anything less than attractive. It's not a nice thing to say. Uh, no, and I, as, as a journalist, I like to stick to the facts, and the fact is... Mirror, mirror uh, on the wall, dirtiest of the dangos, what do you hate more than anything at all? Shut up, town. I hate Lucha Libre. Dirty Dango uh, already making some enemies here in Orlando, Florida. Laredo Kid getting a nice response here in the city, beautiful. So it's Laredo Kid one on one with Dirty Dango. Uh, you were finishing your thought about uh, Dango there before Bravo started yapping. Oh, I have lots of thoughts. Um, I believe what I was saying though is that I like to stick to the facts, and the fact is, well, oh. I'm the prettiest face I've ever seen. Self confidence is important. Now it's Dirty Tango taking control of Laredo Kid, or at least attempting to. Dango thinks he's got the size and power advantage. Uh, he hates Lucha Libre, but he's diving right into the deep end, so to speak, here with a former Triple A Cruiserweight champion and Laredo Kid. Gosh, I just, I never get tired of watching Laredo Kid oh. do his thing. Now Kid on the move. Oh, and Alpha Bravo and Oleg Prudius make sure Dirty Dango is out of harm's way. Oh, and Laredo Kid gets a piece of Bravo. Bravo. There wasn't much need for it, but I'm okay with it. Oh, the moonsault to the outside. And I might have busted Dirty Dango's nose. His nose got busted and hard to kill in that impromptu six-man tag team matchup, but that's you know that's what you get for dealing with PCO. Yeah. You got you gotta expect to lose a couple body parts 
when you're uh, in the ring with a Frankenstein. Well, uh, PCO is going to have to battle Khan today on No Surrender, which begins live at 8 oh. p.m. Eastern on yeah. TNA Plus. Driller TV and YouTube for our Ultimate Insiders in New Orleans. Oh! Who no man? Who no man? Laredo Kid, then the fans behind him. Up to the bottom rope there, go to the second rope. Alpha Bravo stepping back down to the floor as he absolutely should. Oh, and Dirty Dango. Dango. Oh, he's turned Laredo Kid inside out. Oh, my word. Warming the face. Some nastiness here from Dirty Dango. He yanked him up there. Oh, short range clothesline. Brief distraction there by Alpha Bravo, enough to open the door for Dirty Dango so he can take command. Oh. Uppercut there from Dango. Oh, now Kid whipped into the corner. Oh, face first into the top turnbuckle when Kid. Dango pulls Kid away from the ropes. Here's the cover. And the shoulder up in time there by Laredo Kid. A little extra intensity from Dango tonight. Yeah, for somebody that uh, hates pro wrestling and hates Lucha Libre, he's a. Uh, looks like he's actually participating. Well, uh, he's made uh, millions in this industry. He's made millions in the real estate business in Portland, Maine. So. Well, certain things have to motivate Dango, and I guess hate is one of those things. I suppose. He can get along with my sister. Oh, back elbow there by Dango. Just when Laredo Kid had an opening, Dango able to shut the door in a knee drop there. Suplex and right into the cover. Dango cannot put away Laredo Kid. Look at this cross face. Right across the eyes of Laredo Kid. Great action here tonight in Orlando on TNA Explosion. And don't forget today in New Orleans, it's no surrender. It'll be headlined by the Knockouts World Title Match. Jordan Grace defending her championship against the Hard to Kill Ultimate X winner, Giselle Shaw. Also, the very unorthodox no surrender match for the TNA World Championship. Moose, the champion, defends the title against Alex Shelley. You've got to tune in to no surrender to see exactly how that match goes down. It is a very unique match. Match time. Oh, and it's gonna be extremely interesting to watch. Oh! Knowing that the system is gonna be involved. Open palm strike there, and down goes Tango! Yeah. Yeah. Right to the midsection of Moreno Kid. Oh, leaps into the neck breaker. Beautifully done. Presses the shoulder down, and a kick out there by Dirty Tango. Alpha Bravo and Oleg Prudius looking on. Dango there, meal ticket, I guess you could say. Yeah, I, they just make me nervous being out here. Oh, I don't like the way you look at it. Uh, I don't like that they're out here. It, I just feel like that's an unfair advantage. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the thing about a suplex there was Laredo Kid. Dango able to counter it for just a moment off the ropes. Oh, both men meet in the middle and go down. Dirty Tango and Laredo Kid. Quite the clash here on TNA. Explosion. What is it going to take to put either of these men away? We said it. Fuck, we've established that. Stop. Well, I have a feeling I know. But... Bravo having some uh, issues here with the fans in Orlando. Meanwhile, it's Laredo Kid. Oh! Really lighten up Dirty Tango with these strikes. Oh! Just turn him inside out. An explosive clothesline there and a kick out. A big kick out by Laredo Kid. He flipped him like a flapjack. And Laredo Kid was still able to muster up enough strength 
to kick out. And, and Dirty Dango still feeling the effects of the shots from moments ago. The Loreno kid is down. Could it be time for down and dirty? That top rope leg drop from Dirty Dango. Oh, and a kick. A kick to Valerio Kid and the referee to straight to my Alpha Bravo. There's Ole Prudy is getting involved. Grabbing the rope and taking Loreno Kid off his feet. Oh, oh, down and dirty. Dirty Dango beats Loreno Kid. Here's your winner. Right, dirty business, dirty deeds. Looks like he's been rolling around on Bur Bourbon Street. Well, tonight in Orlando, it's Dango getting the win on Explosion. If you can join us in New Orleans, be there on Bourbon Street, because today is no surrender day.